Good morning, Celeste Mumford here, Holistic Skin Food Chef at J Lexi. I wanted to do a video on ionized acid water before I got started. So I woke up just a little while ago. I haven't done anything to my hair. And I just wanted to talk to you about the power and the greatness of ionized acid water. Let me begin by saying ionized acid water can only be made through an ionizing filter. Most people buy an ionized alkaline water filter because alkaline water has such tremendous benefits. So I do have one of those, which is the only way to make ionized acid water. And I just wanted to say, uh, my hair has gone through some things. Um, one, it has a lot of gray in it and it, um, I've had chemo. So this is my third time kind of cutting my hair down because I think because of the effects of chemo, some places grew thicker, some were thinner, some were stringier, some were more coarse. So I didn't have an even head of hair. So I'm hoping this is the last time and I'm hoping my hair comes back, you know, healthy and strong and long and all that good stuff. So I've gone through, I've done a couple different things with my hair. I've done max hydration. I've done some other things. And what we are doing as naturals, we are looking for hydration, 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 and more hydration. So we're trying to do all different things to get hydration. And I'm going to tell you this right here. This fresh, look at, look how beautiful it is. This freshly poured ionized acid water is all you need for hydration. This is it. This is it. So, um, like I said, I just rolled out of bed. This is my hair without doing anything to it. So first I'm going to do what I've been doing for the last couple days. I washed my hair on Tuesday. I used some of my kombucha liquid shampoo, which is not yet on the market, but it will be at jlexiellc.com. Um, I don't know, maybe this week, whenever I get a chance to put it up. So I used the kombucha shampoo. I used my bamboo deotomasis earth silica um, conditioner. I used um, some oil, fenugreek oil that I made, and I used acid water. Oh, I, I think I did put a little bit of my moisturizer and whipped shea butter on it. And to me, that was still way too much, many products, but the process wasn't as deep or as strenuous or as rigorous or as manipulating to my hair as some other things I've done. So I washed my hair on Tuesday. I did all that stuff, put all that stuff in it on Tuesday. And from Wednesday to to go, going to be now, I didn't do anything but pour ionized acid water on my hair. Um, so I'm going to do that. And I just want to show you. So you see my hair is gray hair is pretty challenging because it does its own thing. It doesn't line up. It's like your unruly child, but it's yours and you love it and you embrace it and you try to make it work. So I'm going to pour this ionized acid water. I just poured this a few minutes ago, which is why it is ultra, ultra bubbly. Look at all that good ionization in there. So I'm going to pour this on my hair and then I'm going to finish the video and allow my hair to dry. I just want you to see it without me putting anything in it. So I'm going to pour it over the sink right now. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but um, and I don't want to mess up the camera too much. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Nah, I'm not going to try. I'm just going to pour it. I'm, th I'm over the sink right now. And as I pour the water, I'm rubbing it on my hair. I'm massaging my scalp. Um, so I think that should be good. Okay. Da, da, da. I'm going to get a towel just to wipe off my face a little bit. Okay, I'll put this around my neck for a minute. Okay, so back to my thing. So here's just ionized acid water. 
I do massage my scalp with it. So this is the only thing I'm putting on my hair today. Now I know some of you are asking why don't I put something on the ceiling and no. But I because I just want to show you that because I sealed it on Tuesday, believe it or not, and because ionized acid water is so fantastic, what I sealed on Tuesday will be enough. So now I'm just gonna leave it. Well, in a minute I'll leave it. So this is what I do, because I do want some, you know, I do want some texture to it. And doing this with my fingers helps to texture it. All right, so there's that. Okay, so a little bit more about ionized alkaline water. So our hair, I'm just gonna talk about hair today. Our hair is more acidic. So oh, our hair is more acidic. Typically, some people say four and a half to five and a half pH. Um, so I'll stick with that. Four and a half to five and a half, even though I think it's more four to maybe five and a half. But anyway, that's the acidic level of our hair. Most of the products we use in our hair are alkaline. So if your hair is more acidic, why would we fill it with alkaline products? Um, so this water, I rigged my water filter, um, because I want it stronger. My, my water is more alkaline, so I get great alkaline water. I can get 14 level alkaline water. And on the pH scale, it goes from zero to 14. 14 being the highest. If you think of that, think of lye for when you do your perms, that's, um, 14%. So I'm going to test this. I have my cup. I have my other cup. Now you can only test ionized water with liquid drops. So I'm going to take my liquid drops and I'm going to put three drops in this cup. So one, two, three. So three drops in the cup. See it at the bottom? Okay. Then with the three drops, you can do three to four drops. I only have a little bit, so I'm going to do three. And then I'm going to take one ounce of this acid water and we're going to see what the pH is. So one ounce. Okay, one ounce. Let me put this aside. So one ounce of this acid water in three drops of the liquid pH drops. Okay. So see, this is, I don't know if you can see it that well, but this is more, I don't know. This is between a four and a five. So from from where I'm looking, it looks a little, it has a little orange tinge to it. I don't see know if you can see that tinge. When it's all the way yellow, it looks a little different. But so I'm gonna say this is between a four and a five, which is fine for my hair, which is fine for hair, it's fine for skin, because your skin is also more acidic than it is alkaline. So here's that. So this water is perfect for hair. And a lot of times we put products on our hair like baking soda to open it up and then we put something in it to hydrate it but baking soda being more alkaline is not as alkaline as a permanent relaxer but many naturals like baking soda because it loosens the curl pattern because it 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 flat it makes your hair stretched and it you know we like that curl, which I'm going to talk about that something else, because I think that's still something psychological within us um, people of color trying to do something to our hair to make it look like something else. But anyway, that's for a different time in a different video. Anyhow, OK, so here are the benefits of ionized acid water for scalp and hair. 
So it says scalp and hair are acidic. Ionized acid water is the proper pH balance to nourish, cleanse, and strengthen scalp and hair. An acid water rinse closes and compacts the hair's cuticle, protecting the cortex from damage. Ionized acid water um, detangles hair, right? Um, it conditions hair. You can also use it for beards. Uh, it provides a natural luster and shine to hair. It can be used for, in place of both baking soda and apple cider vinegar rinses. Yep, y'all, it can. It, it can be used to help eliminate dandruff. It helps add elasticity and strengthens hair's hydrogen bonds. It locks in moisture and protein. Um, it's great to use for all hair types. It prevents damage to hair follicles. So all of that is done with an ionized acid water treatment. Let's say so. See my hair; it's coming along. It's getting. It's probably. It's nowhere near dry. But you can see, when natural hair is hydrated, it becomes heavy with water. It gets full with water, and that's when you see your more nat your curl pattern more. When your hair is hydrated, your curl pattern is revealed because it's hydrated. When your hair is just straight and sticking up, and you know, typically. That's because it's not hydrated. So, so far, you see, I won't put anything else on my hair. Um, gray hair is still a little unruly, but look, here's my hair with just this water. So my hair is getting hydrated with just the water. So I'm going to talk a little bit. Let me close this up. I'm going to talk a little bit about... Um, you know what, I meant to start with this. I sleep in a silk scarf. Now many times we do silk or we do satin. And my question is, why? Satin is typically a weaved filament of fibers, right? It can be silk, it can be nylon, and it can be polyester. Most of our satin caps are a combination of nylon and polyester. I don't wear nylon, I don't wear polyester, and I'm not going to put it on my head. So, you know, wear what you want. Silk is natural. Silk breathes. And silk also protects hair and helps keep um, moisture and keeps your hair, um, you know, conditioned while you sleep. So I don't know why, if we're so natural and we're so natural, why we're sleeping with polyester on our head. Polyester does not breathe. It's not a natural fiber and neither is nylon. So I suggest going with silk. Yes, silk is more expensive, but silk is natural. Silk is better. Silk breathes. Polyester doesn't breathe. You know how hot you get with a polyester shirt on? Polyester does not breathe. Ban the polyester, ban the nylon, unless you got to wear pantyhose or something. But anyway, so I go with silk. I'm on my hair. All right, so now a little bit about pH balance. So pH balance is more than hype, it's more than label appeal. Like I said, our hair, according to many experts, is between a four and a five and a half. So we should do what we can to keep it at its pH balance. Now many naturals do baking soda and apple cider vinegar rinses. So see, baking soda, um, we, use for bake, we use baking soda for hydration, right? The more hydration, the better. So that's why we're using baking soda and apple cider vinegar. But a little bit about baking soda. Baking soda is very alkaline. It, it has a pH balance of about 9 pH. So if our hair, let's say on the higher acid level, is a 4 Putting baking soda on our hair at a nine kind of gives it a temporary, semi kind of perm. Now it's not 14, so it's not a permanent relaxer. But when we put that baking soda on our hair, we're kind of trying to straighten it. We're trying to make it less this. We're trying to get it to clump together. We're trying to get it um, to straighten. 
because that's why our curl pattern is loose because that baking soda is semi straightening it 9 pH your hair is 4 pH think about it so alkalines open the cuticle while acids close it a baking soda mi mixture causes our hair to absorb too much water because it opens it up which is why when we get our hair relaxed it opens up that lye gets in there it permanent it changes the um, com composition of our hair which the baking soda does as well to a lesser degree but it does the same thing right so when the um, alkaline touches our hair it opens up our our hair cuticle um, and the baking soda allows whatever moisture to go into our hair but it causes it to absorb too much Right, so you're using baking soda to open it, but then you're not balancing the pH back to four to five and a half. So the cuticles with the baking soda remain open, they remain jagged, and while you're trying to obtain moisture, because your cuticles are still open, you don't retain moisture for long, which is why you're packing on other stuff to try to get the moisture. Um, so that's why a lot of times your hair feels rough and unmanageable, which is why, you know, you're doing an eight step program to try to make the whole thing is about moisture and well and style as well. But at ionized acid water does the trick. I'm telling you, if you have a H2O store, if you have a filter, a water, um, watering hole place, if you have a place that has ionized acid water and and ionized alkaline water, I say go get it. I, for those of you who are local to Orange in Essex County, I will sell um, ionized acid water. I have it on our website, um, anything from four ounces to a half gallon. I say get it and try it. Check it out at my website, JLexi LLC. That's J L E X I L L C dot com. Okay, so we use baking soda to thin out our hair, to loosen the curl pattern, um, but it absorbs a lot of water. It doesn't close the um, cuticles, which means we are losing um, the moisture and the hydration. So, and then we follow up with the apple cider vinegar to clarify hair and to restore the pH balance. Apple cider vinegar, I don't use apple cider vinegar. If I used any vinegar, I would use kombucha vinegar because that's what I make. I make kombucha vinegar. That too is on my website. Um, but kombucha vinegar is more mild than apple cider vinegar and it's less acidic. Apple cider vinegar can be like, a, I don't know, a two to three maybe. And if you think acidic levels start at a pH of zero, two to three is very acidic, right? So I'm saying all I I'm saying this to say this: do whatever you want with your hair. It's your hair. Do what you want. I am just very excited about the benefits for my hair of ionized acid water. This is the secret weapon to um, hydration. It is not known. Many people don't have um, ionized alkaline water filters. So this is hot. This is what's happening. This is what you need to have to hydrate your hair. This cleanses your scalp. It cleanses your hair. It, it closes the cuticle. It, um, it hydrates because it has micro clusters that are half the size of tap water or bottled water half the size so this hydrates at you're talking about hydration the alkaline water hydrates your body like none other you're not going to find anything that hydrates like your insides like ionized alkaline water and you're not going to find anything that hydrates your hair or your skin like ionized acid water it's much smaller the particles the clusters of this water are much smaller so let's say if you got six clusters of water through your tap water, here you're getting 12. So they're smaller, they're, they're easier to hydrate. Y'all better look into some ionized acid water. Okay, now back to my hair. Look, it, I mean, it still has some ends, but I had these, this gray hair. So as you look, and I'm gonna show you my gray hair. 
I don't know if you can see it too good, but with this water, my gray hair is shinier. Let me turn on this other light so we can see if we see better. Look with my gray hair using this ionized acid water cleanses my gray hair and it keeps it gray. It keeps it clean. It keeps it shiny. So now my hair is still wet and I know some of y'all are telling me I need to put some baking soda on it to straighten out my curls, but I want to wear my hair, my natural hair. I want to wear it naturally. I'm not looking to look like I have a perm. I'm not looking to make my 4B hair look like it's 3A. Another thing. I think that's something with psychological, but I think that's something in us that we're still trying to possibly be something we're trying to still assimilate. We're trying to wear our natural hair, but sometimes we don't want it to look like natural hair. We still want it to look like other hair, which uh, I find that very interesting. Um, so my hair is still not dry, but as you can see, um, it is getting more compact. It is, um, hey, what's that? It is hydrated. And I, I will take a picture of this, of my hair when it's dry. I'm not going to add anything else to it. I haven't added anything to it since Tuesday when I washed it. I don't know why this won't stay straight. So I haven't added anything to it since Tuesday when I washed it, except for rinsing it with this ionized acid water. Now, if you want more, if you're interested in an ionized um, alkaline water filter, I can help you with that. I am a licensed um, distributor of the Life Ionizer, which is the best ionizer out there. Why do I say that? I chose, I looked at every water filter. I chose Life because Life Ionizers is the only, the only um, ionizing water filter that has a pre-filter. What does that mean to you? The pre-filter is a big unit outside of the filter. So it's a separate unit and that filter was set up for my water. So my water goes through that pre-filter which eliminates 99.99% .99 of the contaminants in my tap water. So it's the water is filtered before it actually enters the unit. No other um, water filter company i don't care who it is i don't care what the name recognition is life is the only water filter that has that pre-filter and that's important because what good is having your tap water go right into your ionized without it being cleansed first i mean so life is very ahead of its time with this water filter but if you want more information it's on my website jlexyllc.com check it out there and um, look at my hair. I, 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 I'm, I'm loving my hair since I, I'm using the um, ionized alkaline water. So I don't need gel. Now I could still put gels if I wanted my curls to be more clumped together and more formed, more uniformed. I can do that. But I want, like I said, I want to wear my natural hair naturally, meaning I'm not trying to make it look like something else. I'm not trying to dress it up. Now, um, I'm not trying to make it look like I have long flowing curls, which some of us have long flowing curls naturally. So I want my 4B, some places 4C. So here's my hair. It's, um, it's not really super kinky, right? I can comb my hair, my hands through it. Um, so it's not super kinky. Um, so I'm going to say my hair is a four, maybe B. I don't know if somebody knows I did test it before and I think it kind of floated on top of the water. So, so here's my hair. I love it. I love it. I like the idea that I can wash it. Um, so far I washed it once a week. I can wash it then the next couple days I can just pour water on my hair and not need any other products 
not need any other products. How liberating and how freeing is not having to do seven steps in the morning <laughs> or, you know, sleep in uh, a, green, a, a cap with your hair wet for a greenhouse effect. All you need to do is get the best hydrating water out there. Woohoo! The best hydrating water out there. This is the best kept secret. And if naturals and those in the natural hair community knew about ionized acid water, this will eliminate a lot of your, oh, it's getting a little warm in here. It will eliminate a lot of your natural hair woes. This will cut so much time off of your processing. You can use this for twist outs. You can use this for whatever you're gonna use water for, or liquid in your hair. I even carry a small bottle um, in my pocketbook. So if I'm out too long in the sun and if I don't have my hair covered, I don't have a hat on, I just spray my ass of water on it and you know, bam, it's really, oh, it's really that good. So here's my hair and I'm going to post pictures of when I use the max hydration treatment and it really did make my hair curly and all this other stuff, which was great. But it was a long process and at the end of the day naturals and my curly sisters all we want is hydration hydrated hair is healthy hair we want healthy hair some of us want styling right now I'm not interested in styling my hair is short I'm not interested in doing the 15 steps and then you got to sleep on you know on top of your head I don't know I'm not interested in that right now my short hair I just want healthy natural hair when I look to style it, I'll do some other things. But right now, this is the hair. See you? This is my hair. And I am... Now see, I would go outside. I would go out with my hair looking just like this. I would go out with my hair looking just like this and feel very confident, feel beautiful because it's my natural hair worn naturally okay thank you for watching i know this was, this was kind of long but once again i'm celeste holistic um, skin food chef at j lexi you can find our products on our website j lexi llc.com that's j l e x i l l c.com Check out my tab on the benefits of ionized acid water. This is a secret weapon. Every natural, every person should have this water in their arsenal because it is next to none. It is the absolute best water for your hair's hydration. You can try 17 steps or you can narrow it down and use this as your key component and let your other products be encircled around this. This is what to do. Okay, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I promise to bring you very interesting and exciting and new and different um, information as it relates to beauty, whether what we eat, what we put on our skin, um, new and uncommon. You're not gonna find what I'm gonna present to you. You're not gonna find it anywhere else. Okay, once again, Thanks for watching. Make today amazing. God bless. Hello, Celeste here. I'm back. My hair is dry. Um, this morning I rinsed it with about, I don't know, 20 ounces of ionized acid water and I let it air dry. So I just wanted to show you the results of my hair. My hair is hydrated. You can see um, curl pattern. You can see my natural curl pattern. Um, ta -da, hello. so this is it and even with when I did other systems like the max hydration it did not really hydrate my gray hair but if you look at my gray hair it has some curl pattern it's not just straight like straw like it typically is so it has, you know, it, it has, it's not clumped, it's not styled, it's really just rinsed and air dried. Now, I'm not saying I won't ever put a seal in or anything like that on it, because I think you should, but this is just my experiment um, with not putting anything on it. I And it's interesting because while it's not really greasy, um, 
the oil that I put on my hair on Tuesday seems to be still in my hair. So this is it. If I wanted to make it a little clumpier, I would just do my fingers. Alright. But that is it. And I am really, really excited. I'm happy with my the results of my hair. And I'm going to wear my natural hair naturally. What that means is I'm not going to try to make it other than what it is. I'm not going to try to thin it out, strengthen it, put curls in it. And I'm going to wear my natural hair naturally. And this is what my natural hair looks like without being weighed down with 15 different products, four different products, processes. So healthy natural hair is possible. I'm going to prove it without all the excess stuff. So stick with me while I take this hair journey. Thank you for watching. Make today amazing. God bless.